preparation for a careers fair is key. You need to know the logistics. So what buildings are being used, what employers are going to be there, and who are you going to target when you get there. If it's online, make sure you have the technology started, make sure you know your device is going to work, you have everything connected, and you've got your battery ready to go. When you go to a careers fair, this is not the time to find out what's already on their website. This is your time to find out something new. So make sure you know who's going in advance, narrow it down to the employers you want to look for and make the most of your time when you get there. Employers go to careers first because they want to talk to you. They want to answer questions. So go with that confidence that they want to engage with you. Don't ask them something you should already know. So if it's on their website or it's in the fair information booklet, don't have to repeat that question. So sure you've done your research. Maybe you're asking about a particular job and you don't know if some of the details are a bit vague. Perhaps you're deciding between two different strands and you're not sure which one would be best suited for you. You could ask about the recruitment process, ask about specifics of the assessment centre. You could ask about what the day in the job would really look like. What are the main responsibilities? Um, what is a new recruit going to be asked for? These are the things that really get the employer talking and show that you've done your research and you're engaged and interested in this organisation. Don't just go to careers fair and come away with just lots of extra knee stationery. This is the time to go and actually speak to actual employers, to find out things that you can't find on their website. So what's the company culture like? Um, is everybody in the office? Is everybody online? Is it very much working in teams or are people in charge of their own case load and they work independently? You can find out what are the expectations of the job. You can find out what does a good candidate look like to them and how can you position yourself to be that candidate. It's a really good place to start and get some contacts and some networks as well and to look at some organisations that you maybe haven't considered. So talk to employers, make sure they know your name and see if you can add them on LinkedIn and keep that connection going. Don't take lots of stuff with you to the careers fair. Make sure you keep your hands free because you need to take notes. Trust me, you will forget. Whether you take them on a notebook, whether you write them on the map, whether you take notes on your phone, you will need to take people's names, remember the positions, remember the companies, remember the jobs. When you go back later and you're working out how to keep this engagement going, you'll need to have your notes. Please, please take notes as you go around. Try not to go to the careers fair with a group of 10 of your best friends. You walk around in a huge group and the employer will just see a huge group. This is your time to stand out, to be an individual and to show how you can be different from other people applying for the jobs. This is a time to show your personality. So if possible, try and go on your own with a very small group so the employer knows exactly who you are. Going to careers fair is a time for you to expand your horizons for action and to see the opportunities that are available to you. You're more than just your degree title. You are and you have a skill set. Lots of companies are hiring from multiple degree backgrounds. So please don't get distracted by the job title. Look at the job tasks. Look at the values and the mission statement of the company because you might go in there and find a company you've never considered before and think, that's a good match. I would really enjoy working with that organisation. I want to discuss this further. This is the time to look at new options at things you maybe haven't considered before. Don't forget to follow up after careers fair. If the employer has a LinkedIn account, you can ask if you can follow them. Definitely follow the company. See what's happening and keep up to date with things. If you were speaking to someone and you have a personal rapport with them and you think, yes, I would really like to discuss this role further, you can send them a personal email and thank them for their time. If there is a virtual or an online aspect to careers fair, you have an extra element of preparation. You might have to go onto the platform in advance and make your profile, make sure it sells you and the skill sets that you want the employer to know about. Outside of this, you need to make sure that your online presence is pristine. So your LinkedIn account should be there. It should be up to date. You should be having a look at your other social media platforms. It needs to be consistent across the board. Remember how you present yourself online and how would an employer like to see you?